Hello, I'm TTOM, your time travel operations monitor, and welcome to the Heroes module of the Time Traveler's Guide. Let's not waste any precious time and dive right into lesson one. When you first begin as a time agent, you'll have no heroes to help you out. You'll need to find heroes within the capsules you receive from HQ after completing missions, or you can find select heroes directly in the shop. There are over 90 heroes to find, so make sure you're opening as many capsules as you can. Heroes will help you restore the ages by automating a specific relic and providing a boost. For example, my friend Spartacus is running the gladiators for you. We can tap right here to see exactly what old Spartacus is up to. See here? This is the speed icon. It's telling us that Spartacus is speeding up the gladiator fights by time 16. He is known for being a very inspiring leader, but like all heroes, there is always room for improvement. Working with so many heroes requires great management skills, which means knowing when a hero is ready to be promoted to the next level. Thankfully, HQ has built in two clear indicators directly into your hub. First, the Relic Information button will turn green with an up arrow next to it. Second, you'll see a notification on this tab indicating the number of heroes with available upgrades. We can see that Diocles, who is running our chariots, is ready to be promoted. Let's tap right here and level him up. Leveling up Diocles at this point will increase the chariot speed boost to times 32, which will have him doing laps around Circus Maximus faster than you can say Ben-Hur. Heroes will need two things before they can be leveled up. One, you'll need XP, and two, you'll need to collect that hero multiple times. Cloning a hero is a cakewalk compared to time travel, so all you'll really need to do to earn duplicates is open more capsules. The most reliable way to earn capsules is by completing missions, so we'll finish this one up and tap to claim our rewards. You can see right here the number of hero cards that you're likely to receive. Keep in mind, you might only receive one unique hero card from the capsule, but you will have received multiples of that hero card. In addition to capsules, heroes can be purchased within the shop. Some need XP, a few require gems, and there's a free mystery hero waiting for you if you watch an ad. We think it's a good deal. You gain a hero, and the ad revenue helps HQ keep the time machine stocked with snacks. You won't be trying to find every hero right from the start. They can be separated into three larger buckets. Those that are in your collection, those that are waiting to be found, and those that are currently locked. Let's dive in by tapping on this tab to view all of our heroes. Right away, we can see the number of heroes we have collected, and we have some sorting options. By default, we're sorting by rarity. Heroes will come in the following rarity levels. Common, Rare, Epic, Legendary, and Historic Heroes, each represented by their own different colored cards. In addition to rarity, we can organize our heroes by what age they're from or what their level up status is. As we scroll down, we can see those three buckets I mentioned earlier. We see the heroes in our collection, we see the heroes that are waiting to be found, and we see the heroes that are locked. These cannot currently be found in capsules, and you'll need to rank up to add them to your to-be-found list. For example, we can see that this historic hero can't be found until we reach rank 15. You may have noticed that each hero card in your collection has a few different icons on them. These help you know what the hero is doing for you at a glance. This top icon indicates the type of boost the hero is providing, and this icon is telling us which relic or age the hero affects. Right here, we can see the hero's current level, and down here is their level up progress. Now that you know how to read the cards, you should probably also know what boosts are available and what those icons look like. Speed boosts speed up your relics and resources. Power boosts increase the production output of a relic. Upgrade boosts increase the number of people granted to you from upgrading your time machine. Discounts will reduce the purchase cost of an age. The chance boost increases the chance to produce a bonus resource. And lastly, the bonus boost provides an increased amount of those bonus resources that you can produce. For a human, that's probably too much to keep track of, so if you ever forget what boost a hero is providing, you can always just tap on the hero card to see their details. Since some missions require you to level up heroes or spend a specific amount of XP, I would suggest waiting until you see these missions to level up your heroes. There could be times that you need to level up sooner to speed things along, of course, but this is a great pro tip to help you manage your XP. 
Give yourself a pat on the back, Agent, as you've just completed the Heroes module of the Time Traveler's Guide. I hope this video has given you the confidence that you need to hop back in your time machine and begin hobnobbing with these historical heroes as you hurry and hustle to restore the ages. Until the next video, we'll see you in another time.